Hello and welcome back to 2000 Trees. Food Night UK are here and this is our last day. We've got our last hurrah. We're going to show you all the bands, all the coverage, everything we can cram in and uh, keep it locked. Hello and welcome to Food Nasty UK and I'm here with half of Ithaca who have just been smashing up the main stage. Absolutely loved it. I've been, I've been trying to get you guys on the show for a while actually. Oh, really? Full oh, disclosure awesome. because I, I got the band, uh, the, the, the album, sorry. Band. No, no, it's okay. um, you got the band out. Yeah, <laughs> yeah got the band out. Um, but um, you, you be, I've seen, I've been checking your tour dates and it's been like France, France, France. <laughs> you know? So we just didn't want to come to the Czech Republic. Did you? Czech Republic was a little bit of a press. Oh. <laughs> but um, yeah, loving the album, loving the angular, um, like technical stuff, but like with the lushness as well that goes in there. There's a, a definite sense of melody that holds it all together with the, I, I mean, that's what I always look for in a band where you've got abrasive stuff next to gorgeous stuff and you've definitely got that in spades. Thank you, man. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, what are your um, like influences when you're approaching a song? I mean, I mean, any yeah. kind of influence. Yeah, well, um, so Lewis and I together, we, we tend to do a lot of the like the foundational writing of the, a lot of the music. So we're like, I think what we're bringing in, so the for, for me when I was writing this record, that was just a really long time ago, but yeah. it was. Um, there's a lot of like uh, late nineties groove metal, yeah. metalcore, and I think we were do, we were working really hard to kind of extract from the kind of metalcore. I mean, a lot of people mm. refer to us in kind of terms of like old two thousand metal, but which we love all that stuff. Yeah. It's amazing. We love like new wave of heavy metal kind of stuff. But really, we were looking at bands that we thought were a bit like under, under explored in terms of influences. Sure. So bands like Candiria, Burnt by the Sun, who were incredible bands. Oh and yeah. Who, and who I think often had like people of color members in them, or or members who came from like jazz backgrounds. Yeah, like, yeah. People that tended to have just like a different musical thing. Sure. Um, so we drew a lot from that. Lewis is like a bit of a prog guy. Yeah, I love my gent, I'm a proggy, I'm a contortionist. Yeah, I love all that, yeah. Kind of, so we kind of meld the two together, or we kind of like yeah, throw a lot. Yeah, definitely see the prog element. We yeah. throw a lot of the wall, and like, there's a lot that's on the Kyrene floor, I think, yeah. for us. So we're very, we're very quick to be like, nah, we write something, we're like, nah, cut it, you know. I think one thing that comes across with your music, which you don't often hear in metal, is it's how like modern and kind of contemporary it sounds. Oh, thanks, it, it, it definitely sounds quite state of the art and quite classy. Oh, Oh, thanks, mate. And which is not classy, is not something that gets leveled at heavy metal very often. No, but... I appreciate that. Well, we do, we definitely like, I mean, primarily credit for that goes to Lewis Jones, our producer, because he's been he's yeah. the best in the business. Like, right. And we, we worked really closely with him to like build out the record. He was an incredible like creative collaborator. He really knew what we wanted to do. Oh, that makes He all wanted the to like go to the crazy places with us. But also, we did, we told him like, you know, the last track of the album is a power ballad, right? Mm. Like, and there's pop influences and R&B influences, and that's the music, a lot of the music that we actually listen to. And yeah. More than the heavy stuff, sorry, Liz, were you going to say something? No, no, it was great. I was just not going to But yeah, it's like, <laughs> I think, also, we were trying to build a kind of more luxurious aesthetic, like yes. there's a kind of a richness, yes. a sumptuous, uh, sorry, no, like, but no, I totally kind of, get that. You know what I mean? We're, like, like, we're trying to, like the whole thing is coming as a piece, like the way Jamila dresses, yeah. these like outfits, all this stuff is like, we stick quite yeah. strongly to it because we're trying to like have like a whole album look. Absolutely, you know, and, and, and it definitely like separates you from the pack, you oh, know what I mean? That's so, the idea. Well, I, I think these days in metal, uh, I mean, I'm, just being at Tech Fest and I was talking to a lot of bands about the fact that UK metal in particular seems to have turned a real corner this year yeah, where sure. there's loads of bands coming out of the woodwork whereas we had a bit of a drought for a while and then all of a sudden loads, we're giving America a run for the money at the big moment time, big time. you know I mean yeah. with bands like Vex and then you've got Lake Manage you've got you guys and just like the also eclectic as well yeah. uh, I don't know if this is a knock-on effect by the fact that these days people have Spotify 
and they can listen to anything they want. It's yeah. like my 16 year old son has two types of music, stuff that slaps and stuff that doesn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that yeah. is it. He's not, yeah. There's no tribalism at it's all. True. But I think it's like people's attitudes to music are changing as well. And like people, Absolutely. Like you say this, but you want to go exploring and maybe that's just, maybe it's a coincidence, a happy outcome that like, yeah. there's some amazing upcoming bands and people's attitudes to like metal's changing. Absolutely. And that the two, the two have kind of collided together, you know, at the same Absolutely. time. Yeah. And all the bands who are doing exciting stuff, we feel, if you list them out, Lowe's, Harriet, People Slicer, all of these kind of bands, uh, and we would like try try just about but a concept, you know, to yeah. you like, but um, they're they're blending they're blending genres. There's yes. not just a commitment. They're, they don't look like metal bands. None of those look like metal bands, and they don't really all sound like metal bands. No, there's always something different. Like yeah, and they're they're authentically themselves. And, and that's, that's the wonderful the thing is there's nothing going on at the moment. I've been like, yeah. Seen all that. Yeah. At the moment, everything's like, whoa, that's new. That's a fresh take. For like, sure, you know, that, sure. I think that's the corner I think that we've we've gone round is the fact that everything feels fresh. So, yeah. It does. We, I mean, we had some dark years together. Yes. Like, <laughs> when we started in 2012, and like, when we were first starting, it really felt like, is there any future in, for me personally, yeah. I was like, is there any future in this genre? Honestly, yeah. I was like, if this is like the creative mm. doldrum that we've, we're going to get ourselves into. Yeah. It's like, there's no women here, there's no, there's no people of colour here, there's no, yeah. there's no creativity, there's no invention, there's nothing brave, there's nothing yeah, challenging. Absolutely. It's everyone like wearing the same plaid shirt, making like, the same kind of music to be honest, which I know sounds a bit up myself, but it's like, no, it's true. It's not, it's just like, look at the bands who are like, who come out now, it's like, they are a, a flat rejection of that. And yeah. It's, yeah. It's great. It's well, great. it's wonderful to see a genre like metal being like that as well, because Pop's always reinvented it himself, always. Yeah. Yeah. always. But metal, it was just all like, if you're a metal band, you look this way, you do this thing. And it's just like, and now that full book's out the window. Yeah. Well, it's in my house, you know? <laughs> on, top of, on top of that, all these metal bands are now doing like interesting stage shows as well. Yes. Yeah. That, that's like a whole other thing. It's like, and you can be not like a huge band, but there you're, you're, you're doing bits on stage. Yeah. Oh you're, yeah. You've got actors, you've got like set dressing, you know? And that's oh yeah. I'm sure that as a look. Yeah. That's, that's what I, I, I was discussing this in an interview I did ages ago uh, with Fearless Vampire Killers actually. Oh, yeah. And we were saying that when you go to see a show, I love it when you see a show, yeah, you know? Sure. And, and, and you're, you've definitely got a bit of that theatricality, even down to, you know, you've got the kind of uniform white dress yeah, yeah. and then, you know, you, you, you see you can wear what they what she likes, but you've yeah, got that yeah, sort yeah. of uniform athletic, which it's just fantastic. That's the dream, man. And it's, to be honest, like, it, it, it serves two dual purposes at the same time. One, it, as you say, it like marks us out from yeah. that, selfishly, but also it's designed to be disruptive and to be challenging. Yes. It's designed to like, because when we were first starting, I was like, why is no one like doing anything braver? Yeah. And I feel like bands who are trying something different give more creative people license to do brave to take risks and it like if we don't do that the scene is not enriched you know yeah. the, art, the art declines if you don't yeah. invest in it you know? absolutely if you, like, if, you, if you repeat or if you're just just referential you're like, if you don't take any risks or any other outside of this, yeah. it's like we're not going to grow you know? I, I do think now especially this year <laughs> you've got bands like Sleep Token yeah, and, and Bring time, Me The Horizon who are giving oh, who, who are, who are yeah, now yeah. doing like arenas and stuff so that gives the new breed like permission yes you can let your heads go like you can do whatever you want. Big There's time. no rules no more. Big time. So I, I think that's wonderful. Talking of rules, I'm bound by some rules as I have a sponsor this week. Now, Little Flame Hot Sauces. Just seen me attack Beach Riot with some of this. Well, not really, it was kimchi, it was really nice. Um, so for the guys from Mythica, yeah. we have Mangoes Mad. Yes. Which has got mangoes in it. Yeah. And yeah. Scotch Bonnet, yeah. which is one of my favorite peppers. Right. Yeah, same. That and Habs are my favourite, yeah, have yeah, to be yeah, honest. Right, so take a tortilla strip. Thanks, I've kept this all vegan, so there's no, everyone very can go. Kind, very kind. Right, now. Do you want these close up effects? <laughs> close yeah, up yeah, yeah, mic <laughs> effects, yeah. Probably, yeah. But I'll let you dab your own. I'm gonna, there oh, there, that'll get, it's, it's a bit drippy. I'm going to try and so do create like a streak. Here we go. Oh, there, there we are. I've seen the drink. Now, I, yeah, yeah, quite, I, quite, I hear you like your hot sauces, so yeah. this will be on good authority. Yeah. Right, marvellous. Right, let's go. Um, really, oh, really lovely. That's a fruity number, isn't it? Oh, that right. as well. Oh. 
a, that is lovely. And a nice kick of Scott's bonnet in there as well. Mm. I thought that was going to be all fruit and no spice, but it, that is well balanced, right. isn't it? The, the, the mango element is really setting my Indian, my half Indian. This is loving that. Actually. Yes, that absolutely. Sure. Yeah. Oh, that's little really, flame really hot really sauces. That, two on two. Banger. And this bang. I'm not, I'm not kidding. Both of us are actually, honestly, quite, quite fussy about hot sauces. So actually, if it was whack, Oh, yeah. Oh, yep. no, okay. That's <laughs> full, actually really full nice. honesty. Mango's mad. I super, think. Super fresh, super flavorful. Fantastic. Right. Well, there you go. Thank you so much Thanks, for being man. on Food it's and Art UK. Lovely to chat. Yeah, and it's great to meet you both. Finally. Brilliant. Brilliant. Well, welcome back to Food and Art UK, and I am here with one of the greatest songwriters in this country at the moment. Whoa! Oh, for pound. Whoa! Jamie Lemon's in the house. I wasn't prepared for that. Well. Jesus Christos, thank you. Absolutely. Well, to be honest with you, I've had a lot of death metal around recently. Yes. And I think it's about time we uh, appreciated the art of the song rising. Sure, but then, you know, I made a death metal record. Don't be cussing on death metal. Oh, no, we love it. It's intense. Oh, we love the death metal. <laughs> we just thought we'd change it up a little. Oh, it's nice. To, yeah, because I'm on an indie tip at the moment. I'm yeah. playing all indie today. No death metal today. Yeah, the new uh, the new EP. Yes. You're a prolific songwriter because you had an album out last year. Yes. And then an EP out this year. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, inside a secret. Mm -hmm. I made them at the same time. Ah, so, so I made I made it as all as one big jumble of music. 16, tr no, something like 17 tracks. And then we knew that we wanted 11 for the record. So the other bits that didn't, fit the sort of narrative of the album yeah when we we separated it off and we made it an ep could have made it a giant album but i didn't want to make like an hour long album i wanted, I wanted a 40 minute record i think it works really nicely actually were you saying like with the narrative because the album is kind of like its own piece it's, it's own, contained yeah and, yeah and the ep is like it's a real nice palate cleanser site thing palate you know? cleanser yes before you listen to more metalcore yeah <laughs> absolutely then you can go back in with castle decapitation all you like yes <laughs> Now, we're a food show, well, second. We're a music show first. Oh, great. So, um, I've, I'd be amiss not to ask you this, right? Yes. And you might have been asked this before. Your old band, Ruben, did yes. that ever have anything to do with sandwiches? No, it never did, but people used to bring us Ruben sandwiches. Right. And people used to, I remember one time, the first time it happened, these kids stand up with these Ruben sandwiches, and we'd been on tour for like two weeks, and we hadn't eaten in about five days. And they thought we were going to be like, oh, lol, and take pictures of the sandwiches. We was like, great, just <laughs> yeah. eat them, just like straight away. I think they were a bit nonplussed because we were so hungry. They were delicious. And it just goes to show bribery works every time. Absolutely. That's why we feed our musicians. Cool. And um, on that note, we are sponsored by a hot sauce company, but you've got to sing tonight, haven't you? I have, yeah, but I could chug it down in between tracks. Well, you, you can, can have the energy one. going. You can have one for later. Yeah. Would you like one for later? Thank you. Okay, right. Now, let me just go in Le Sac Magique. Seamless. Seamless. Nice shout um, Rosie and, and Jim reference as well. Absolutely. Oh, good, you got it. <laughs> it's Rosie and Jim, right? Sac Rosie and Jim. Yeah. Yeah. Le Sac Magique. You know, it's a secret. Now, what's this at the bottom? Ah, oh, wow. now, I've been... Do you like really hot sauce? Not really. Pull that back. <laughs> back in the pack. I'm sort of like uh, 12A. Do you know what I mean? 12 advisory level. Yeah. You know what? I'm going to sort you out after the interview. That was a bit of rummaging later on. <laughs> we'll, we'll sack that off. Editor. So, tonight you've got a lovely show in the forest area. Yeah. It's over there, is it? Yes, right. it's beautiful. Yeah. It's a, it's a beautiful, intimate setting. It's, it's very nice. So, have you got... Is it just you or have you got a band with you? Oh no, I brought the whole band. I brought Jack and Jen. I'm doing it as three piece these days. There's a lot of um, intricate guitar work that I'm not good enough to play. So I got Jen in because she's real great. I don't know if high harmonies I'm not good enough to sing either. They just do all the work for me. I just stand there looking ugly. We're gonna play <laughs> we're gonna play the whole album back to back. Awesome. Front to front to bottom. That's not the way to say it, you know what I mean. Cause we were asked to by James. James Trees asked me to come and play the whole album start to finish. So that's what we're going to do. I don't think there's going to be much room for um, old songs at the end, but if I can, I'll squeeze some in. There you go. I'm looking forward to that. Oh, by the way, 
I'm glad we got this interview because I, I wanted to interview you at Strange Forms Festival in Leeds. Oh yeah. But unfortunately, I, it all clashed and. Strange Forms was the one in just at the, at the Brunel. Brunel, yes. Yeah, right. Fabulous day that was. That was it was great, but it was very hot and very sweaty. I went and bought an entire eggless cake. It was amazing, just <laughs> in the place down the road. Yeah, that was great. And I saw St. Pierre's Snicker Vision. Oh yes. I don't think we would have had time for an interview. No, so I'm exactly. Glad we saw this out. Yeah, no, I haven't got much on. I mean, my agent quit, so I don't have any more shows. Oh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the only one I got is uh, Bad Pond in September the second in Brighton. Looking forward to it. But you know what? I'm quite glad because it's been non-stop for like six years. I bet. So I'm looking forward to taking the summer off, or at least taking it easy, going yeah. to some garden fates, yeah. going to some church fates, yeah. eating a lot of sausages that have been improperly cooked. They're my favorite. Yeah? Yeah. Nice. There's plenty of those down in the field down there. I right? can't wait. <laughs> right. Right. Well, on that note, by the way, are you something of a foodie? Do you like your food? I love food, but I like are you good bad cooking? food. No, I'm a shit cook. I only eat like the worst junk. The worst junk? Yeah. Yeah, but do dodgy kebabs are the best. They're pretty good, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So support your local kebabery. Do it. Right. Jamie Lemon, thank you ever so much for being on Food and Arts. You're welcome. And don't forget, if you like what you see there, hit the button, subscribe, hit the bell, leave a comment. You know what to do. It keeps us doing what we do. Hello and welcome back to Food Night UK and I am here with one of the most talked about bands at the moment. Lambrini girls are in the house. There we go. Oh, yeah. So I've got to say congratulations on all, everything everyone said about you and it's all true. I was listening to your stuff the other day and I was like, thank God we got a proper punk rock band. Way legend. Thank proper you. punk rock. Um, I hear even like Iggy Pop said he's a fan. Yeah, we never, like, the thing is, we played with We'd him. We'd hope so, because so. we supported him. So yeah, we, oh, yes, we didn't get to meet him, though. We met the Buzzcocks. They were fucking, like, legends. They were just like, you girls, what are you fucking drinking? I like you real deal. <laughs> we didn't meet him. Fuck them. Just yeah. get up there, say, fuck them. Like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, go on then. Legends. We didn't meet Iggy, though, because, like, he's well famous and rich. Um, yeah. But we like the fact that he likes us a lot. Thanks, Iggy. Uh, we don't know how to get hold of you. Top lad. Yeah. Arlo. Um, so, uh, you, what's your latest release? Uh, we just released an EP called You're Welcome. It is a collection of songs that we have done. We've put them in an EP. We've got songs about abuse culture, songs about transphobia, songs about toxic masculinity. Uh, what else? What's the, what's the love bombing? Oh yeah, love manipulation in relationships. Um, and it's sick. It's a pile of shit on fire. That's the cover of it. You're um, welcome. You're welcome. Um, and it's basically just representing what we think of a lot of like a disaffected generation kind of like issues that we have that aren't really talked about a lot. But also it's funny because people are buying an album which is, has a flaming pile of shit on it. Good stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Have you got any tours coming up or anything that viewers should know about? Um, we're on tour pretty much until uh, we're doing UK, EU until September and then we will be on the road again with something else and some other things which we can't say about yet but Fair you play. should pay attention. Fair play. Right now, we're food and arty. We're contractually obliged to cover food. So thanks to Little Flame Hot Sauces. Big up your bad selves. Thanks Little Flame Hot Sauces. <laughs> yep. I have a selection here, right? Now, we're ranging from, we've got Mango's Mad, which is Scotch Bonnet and Mango. Oh. That's that's a fruity number, that's nice. Right, then. Um, <laughs> and then we've got Green Chili and Herb, which is run amok. That's a bit of a sort of oriental Thai tasting thing. Nice. Or oh, we've got these two headbanger ones here. These are Reaper ones. Let's do them are all. They the same ones. They're, they're the same chili. But they're different ones. This is the Belfast Banshee. This is Jeepers Reapers. Jeepers the, Reapers? These are at the top end of the scale. Oh, apparently Jeepers Reapers is the strongest. Okay. Let's do all of them at the same time. Oh, I'd rather. No, no. <laughs> or don't. Okay. Okay. Well, no, or you I can if you want. How are we doing this? Right, then? we are doing this with tortilla strips. Gotcha. So it's up to you how much sauce you want to do. You just put it on, put it on your strip. Yes. So take a strip. Okay. 
Take a strip. Mm, la, 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 la. strip. It's like a pencil when you like do it loads and it gets flopped. Right, so. <laughs> flop dick. <laughs> wait, wait, which one would you... <laughs> Which one would you like to try first? Oh, uh, let's. Can we do like? Should we go weakest to strongest? Yeah. yeah. Good yeah, idea. Good yeah. idea. Yeah, yeah. And then we can sort of build it up. Crescendo. Right there we are. Let's. <laughs> what they say in piano language. Right here we have. Crescendo. Mango. Yum. Mango to start with. Allow me. Mm. Okay. Mango to start with. How much? Oh yeah. Okay. Just, just a smear. Oh. Oh, oh you're hey, a nutter. Oh wait, wait. Put some on mine. Yeah. Oh hello. No splash back there, is it? There we go. That's perfect. Mm. Sloppy seconds, mate. Mm. Right, so this is our this is our mild option. Right, let's have a go. Mmm. Fruity. Oh, it is fruity, all right. It's very fruity. Mmm. Mm -mm. It's just got mm -mm. bonnet at the back I like of there. That. Back yeah. Of the throat. Yep. Short, short I like and that. Sweet. Short yeah. And sweet. Yeah. We're saying that's all right. Do you want? I yeah. ate all my tortilla. Oh, yeah, that's right, there's loads. Yum. So I take another one for the next one. Okay. Yeah, I like that one. No, yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's 10 out of 10, that one. Yeah. It's quite tart. Yeah. I Everyone could... agrees on this one. I'd say like that's like on the spice scale. I'd say like probably maybe like a 6.5. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'd say less than Would that. Would you? Name. Yeah. It's not, it's a little, it's got a tingle. It's like little crabs in your mouth going, ni, 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 ni. Yeah. <laughs> Crab much. mouth. Right. We're gonna go into Thailand now. I'm no, excited for that one. This one, it's it's a green number. So you don't need a lot of it. It's very a bit. aromatic. Oh. Uh, oh, wow. You're welcome. It's like, this one isn't really strong, so. Is it not? No, no. Right, so one, two, three, let's go. Cheers. Oh. <laughs> Cheers. I don't like that one. It's kind of oh, a. That's delicious. Oh, it's really yeah. tasty, isn't it, that one? Yeah. That, that's wonderful. I enjoy that. that. Is. That is run That is a herbal sensation. Herbal sensation. It is oh, certainly is green chili and herb. Can I have some more? You can have it. I can, oh my god, you can Keep actually, that. Can, Keep that. Mate, honestly, that is that is so good. Sriracha. I love that. Right. That is so yummy. So shall we top it off with a back headbanger then? Yeah. Right. There can is. I have another piece of we'll go here? for. We'll go for the Belfast Banshee from nice. Ireland, Northern Ireland. Our good friends Enola Gay are from Belfast and we love them. And shout out to Enola Gay. Shout, shout out to Joe for being Gay. a little trick. And Finn for missing his phone. Right, now, <laughs> I'm suggesting we all go quite mild on this, but, but right. so just, we'll just, because so I've, I've never tasted this either, so let's see. Oh. Actually, that green one was milder than the first one. Yeah, yeah. green one, four at most. Right, but I'll tell you what. Taste level, nine. Right, so we'll just do a uh, <coughs> tiny little schmear, just a tiny okay. little schmear because it's Reaper. I don't oh, know right, how yeah, strong it is. I don't need you to do it for me again. Just a tiny little, little dab will do you. Yeah, yeah, not more than that. Oh, no, I've got to do more than that. Well, you're not singing again today, are you? Nah, nah. Right, that's right then. Right, it's I, quite I, thick, I, this I, one. I, I, yeah, I would stick Those... with that because you never know with Reaper. Don't do oh. loads. No, I won't. Oh, I'm sorry that came right out, sorry. Let's just flick it. Flick, yeah, flick it. it. Flick them both. Yeah, there you go, that's perfect. Yeah, be all right. Sweet. You reckon? Thank you. Grab that. Right. I feel like I'm going to die right now. Ready? Feeling brave? Mm. Let's go. Actually, that's really tough. Oh. Oh, that's delicious. Oh. And there it comes. Oh, that's it. delicious. That comes oh. in a wave. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh. That's, that's good, that. Oh, hello. Hello, now you're welcome. Hello. Wife. That's brilliant. Mummy. I think that'll be good on eggs in the morning to wake you yeah. up. Yeah. There you that's go. That's hot, but that's, it's all right. I, like, I don't feel like I'm yeah. going to die. You're not, you're not going to throw yeah, up yeah. or anything, no. No, 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 I'm all right. No, oh, that's that just really natural. Yummy. No extracts like that funny business I had last week. It's good what stuff, What funny man. business did you have last oh, week? Oh, if you watch my Tech Fest um, coverage, we had something that was a little too hot. Oh. So, uh, yes, <laughs> Belfast Banshee, what are we giving that? Oh, I'd what, say it was spice like, level. Spice level, would you say about? I'd say a good eight to be yeah, honest, no, that's a eight. solid eight. Uh, solid eight, yeah. taste-wise, flavour. Oh, it's oh, still it's, going. It's wonderful. It's a nice flavour, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's really good. It's really good, but... It's just getting hotter in the back of my throat. <laughs> I wish I'd had some water here, actually. Anyway, on that Sorry. note... Water I've makes it a, worse. What? Well, yeah, milk. You want milk? Well, vegan. Yeah. Or, or oat milk. Oat milk does it as well. Um, right, so on that note, Lambrini Girls, thanks for being on the show. Thank Legend. you so much. Call and out your mates. 
That's us. Go to a protest, join a union. Welcome back to Food and Art UK. I'm here with the guys from Sugar Horse. Can you tell me your names? Ash. Chris. And um, yes, I wanted to get you on for a little bit because we nice. were um, interviewed, we've been interviewed twice now with your um, touring partners, Deadbird. Oh, nice, yes. nice. Deadbird, we've had them on, Tom. Oh, grand. We, yeah, we were just we just came off tour with them yes. pretty much. So, yeah. oh, nice. Yeah, yeah, they, they were singing your praises and saying oh, how excited nice. they were. That's nice of them, that's nice of them. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> Loving your sound, man. There's such a lot going on in there, it's fantastic. It's, it's part of this breed of exciting new bands out in the UK at the moment. We spit, uh, you get elements of uh, post metal, and there's sort of shoegy, gazy elements, there's all kinds of, uh, even a little black metal sleeps in there, you know, it's, like, it's an eclectic mix. Uh, yeah, where yeah. do you get your inspiration from? Um, I think we just, we all like very different kinds of music, so it's, uh, we don't really like settling on one thing for too long. Like, if, yeah. if I had to just play like, like Doom riffs for, an hour at a time every night, I think I get pretty bored. So. Yeah, absolutely. It's, it's just our own inability to settle on one thing, really. Well, that's wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was just uh, discussing this with the guys from Ithaca, where it's these days a lot of uh, music gives you permission now just to do what you want. Yeah, exactly. Where, whereas there used to be guidelines, formulas, things like that. The ball books got out the window a little yeah, bit. Yeah, like the, having having like the entire history of recorded music available at your fingertips has kind Absolutely. of made that tri that tribalism kind of redundant. Hasn't it? Absolutely, yeah. And I, I've, I've said this a few times. I, I have a sixteen-year-old son, and he has music he thinks slaps, and music that doesn't slap. <laughs> and that, they're his tribes. <laughs> I'm down with that. I'm pretty much the same. Yeah. When, when I, when I was as a kid, I used to get ten pound a month, copy money, choose that album wisely because you're going to be listening to it for a month. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, exactly. So yeah, we, we we are living in an eclectic age, indeed. Um, what what have you got out at the moment, or is there something um, coming up? So we just put out a single called Thrash Music. Um, oh, wow. I love that song. Oh, yeah, thanks. Yeah. yeah, the first third of this year with the Stupid Tears for Fears cover on the B side, awesome. and uh, then coming up we've got. Uh, kind of weird release that cool. I'm not sure I'm allowed to talk about in too much depth. Just All will yet. become clear. All will become clear. Um, Absolutely. So we got that coming up, and then the first third of next year we're putting our album too. So oh wow, there's quite a lot lined up. But yeah, yeah. busy, busy, yeah, yeah. busy, busy. So uh, who are you going to be looking out for this weekend? Do you think on your travels? Um, we 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 got a pretty busy festival season this year. Yeah. Relative, I mean. Not compared to some bands, but relatively for us. So we're only sticking around for today, but we'll probably end up going to see Soft Play later. Oh, absolutely, yeah. yeah it should be yeah. cool. Previously known as Slaves. Indeed, yeah. Back bands. Um, yeah, so we are contractually obliged to do something about food because we're food in Arctic. Sure. Right, now, you like your hot sauce? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah, into yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, what's your limit? Where, 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 where's... I like pretty hot stuff, yeah. so I'm all right. But I am wary that I have to go sing in front of people in a bit. So Absolutely. So as long as it doesn't destroy me. Right. What we have here, Bunamok, and this says it's green chili and herb. Amazing. Doesn't say which green chili. Doesn't say which herb either. Doesn't say which herb. <laughs> I can have a look. Um, jalapeno and Thai finger. So that's not too. Mental. Make true. Yeah. I don't, I don't know what type finger is. <laughs> <laughs> right. We've got. These are our receptacles for doing it. Oh. So a bit of tortilla. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll let you dab your own. So this. Right. Okay. So the last two sauces have gone down really well. So can we make it three for three? <laughs> Right. Oh. oh, once again, I've got to do this. Me and right. Chris smoke way too much, so we'll be like, yeah, it's quite good. Well, it smells quite aromatic. Oh, let's go. Little blob. Might as well go all in. There we are. There we are. Marvellous. Look at, look at that great peak. It's a little, well, we're just going to say, herbaceous. It's herbaceous looking. Oh, it's kind of, it kind of bangs, actually. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Oh, smell that. Right, okay, let's go. One, two, three. Cheers, then. Oh, straight off the bat, we're going to the orange. Mm. No, you know what it tastes like to me? It tastes like um, 
a spicy version of like mint sauce that you have a Sunday roast. Yeah, 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 it's like mint sauce. I'm into that. Yeah, very yeah. Good. Has it got? Yes, it has got mint in it, garlic, ginger, coriander. Oh, my missus won't want this. It's got coriander in it. Ah, duly noted. So there we are. So that's three for three. We're on the mark. Little flame sauces. It's a thumbs up from us. Thumbs up. Two thumbs fresh. Three thumbs fresh. <laughs> right. Good thank you very much nice for being on the show. Cheers, ma'am. Have a great festival. Have a good one. Take care. Cheers. Cheers. Thank Take you very much. Cheers. Hi, and welcome back to Big Night UK, and here is our latest guest from America. Vic, are in the house. Hello. Hi. How you doing guys? Good. Yeah, yeah really good. I've just seen you on the uh, stage over at the Axiom stage. The Axiom yeah. stage, yeah. Fabulous. Thank like you. really good. I've been missing music like that for a while. Oh yeah. Because um, I'm of a certain age that meant I came up through the early 90s and um, I caught girl Quiet Girls and all that sort yeah. of stuff. Babes in Thoyland and yeah, you know yeah, L7 and all that sort of stuff. You've got a like punkier edge on it. Like mm -hmm. I, I really, really like it. It's like proper like Andrew on Epitaph yeah. as well, yeah. which yeah. is the punk label, yeah. isn't it? Let's face it. Grew up obsessed with all of those bands. Yeah, that must be a great, yeah. a great feeling that you're now on the label you grew up with. Yeah, That's it's crazy. Very cool. Yeah. So, um, what, what's your latest release you have out now? Doomer, mm -hmm. we just put out like two weeks ago, three right. weeks ago. Yeah. Oh, Doomer, yes, yeah. I heard you play that. Yeah, Yeah, that was fabulous. All the Doomers out there that kind of suck the energy out of a room. I know a few, I know yeah. a few, I can relate. <laughs> the people who can destroy a party. Yeah, yeah. And you, I mean, it's really written for um, the idea of like, they're sucking the soul out of you, like you're giving too much, and it was kind of in protest. It was written yeah. like, no more, I'm not giving any more to you. <laughs> yes. It was kind of the, the intent of the song. Yeah, yeah, no, I can totally relate. I can totally relate. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I, I love the lyrics. I, I, I love the brashness. Very honest. Mm -hmm. Yes. Which is cool. Honestly, it's the best policy, isn't it? Yeah, yeah it is. Absolutely. So, um, have you been out with any of your label mates from, like, on tour or at all? Or? No label not really. mates. No, actually. No? Uh, that'd be amazing, but no, yeah, it hasn't worked out that way. It seems to me that New York's got quite the scene at the moment. There's a lot going off, especially in the hardcore scene. Like, yeah, yeah. Hardcore, hardcore is Hardcore's popping right now. Yeah, there's like gel and yep, yep. drain. And yeah. Oh yeah, I was talking Such to um, Liv from Counterbats about it yesterday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he was saying, and we were saying like hardcore and punk seems to be like a proper punk, a yeah. proper hardcore yep. seems to be yep. on a real ups upswing at the moment. It really yeah. is. We yeah. went to see Jell like a couple months ago when yeah. I played in Brooklyn. Oh. And it was cool. They had two back-to-back -back sold-out shows and people Whoa. were just like going hard. And it yeah. was really fun and I missed being at shows that felt like that. Yes. That kind of anything could happen. Oh, like, yeah. Sort of feeling, you know, that. just just hold on to your drinks and just like, <laughs> yeah. let's see where this goes. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I, I saw like inklings of it happening a few years ago with bands like Trash Talk. Yep. Yes. But then, oh my God, yeah. But then it seems to have like really become a thing now. Like, also bands like Zulu as mm -hmm. well. Younger bands who have got, there's so much more diversity going yeah. on. Yeah. It's thank wonderful. God. Yeah, thank it's God. Time. Yes, yes. Time for it's real. been a long time coming. Yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. I've noticed this summer, a sort of sea change, mm -hmm. like in the artists that are coming through, like, like young artists and even more, older established artists and everything, there seems to be like the, the gatekeepers have been put to sleep. We can just do what we want now. Yes, but <laughs> I hope so. Yeah, yeah. I'd well, love to keep that going. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. And it, I, I say once again, it's so refreshing to have okay. like this kind of music happening because it's got a real special place in my heart because like, without going on about it, but like we uh, used to work in a record shop back yeah. in the 90s called oh, Now Records in Leeds. Oh, cool. And we had Bikini Kill come and play in oh, the shop. Oh my God, that's like, amazing. Yeah, like at the Dream. peak of their powers as well. That was so cool. Yeah, so, they're the uh, reigning queens. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Them and the Babes in Toyland, I would have said, it was just incredible. Yeah. Bands from that area, but you've got a whole new spin on things. I can totally hear like, I like it. And, I like it. And the technology's a lot better these days. So yeah, I got that helps. <laughs> Guitar pedals. Yes. <laughs> it's a lot easier now. Right, and now you're on a show called Food and Arty. 
Yeah. yeah. Food is one of our angles. Right? I love food. Uh, do we have foodies in the band? Any, any foodies? Your foodie. I love foodies. What variety? <laughs> if, if, you were, like if you were going to like cook for someone you wanted to impress, what would be your go-to dish? What would be the, Ooh, the showstopper? That's a tough one. I do a real, oh, no, you know what? The Burgundian. Nice. Hard oh, wow. I was like, if you really want to impress there. somebody, Bit because it takes a whole entire day. <laughs> make me that, yes. impress me. A, I'll do it, oh, I'll, yeah. I'll make you both. Yes, but, slow uh, and low. Yeah, Absolutely. gotta respect Julia Child's recipe is solid. It's a pain in the ass. But it's always delicious. You kind of can't screw it up, which is the secret. Don't yeah. worry, because like no matter it's what, so it's so posh and fancy, people wouldn't tell you if you had. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That or a, yeah. There's like an orzo dip. I love orzo. Oh, lovely. I'm half Turkish, so like the Mediterranean. Oh like, yeah, man. Yeah. I went for I went for a Turkish meal the other day actually. So uh, freaking good. You, oh yes, just. Mm. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You're talking my language, so. Yeah. I we are sponsored by a hot sauce brand yes. this weekend. We didn't bring one. We need one Perfect, for the yes, they like hot, hot sauce. Right, I've got three different types here. Ooh. Going from mild to, well, sort of heavy, but it's tasty. They're okay. all tasty. Uh -huh. Right, so I've got mango and scotch bonnet. Okay. Yeah? Ooh. Is it has a fruity number? It's, yeah. Yeah? Yeah? Do we like that? Yeah. Oh, otherwise, it's uh, scotch bonnet and cayenne, or then the Carolina Reaper one. That's going to be hot. That's very hot. Yeah. It's tasty though. So we'll go for the mangoes, yeah? We'll go for the mangoes. Yeah, we'll go for the I mangoes. Also, scotch bonnets are a secret. Like, those should be in everything, I think. Yeah, scotch bonnets are the best chilies. So yeah. Uh, actually, a bit of a plug here. The food and arty sauce is scotch bonnet jerk really? sauce. Yes, yes. Our friend just made a scotch bonnet jerk chicken. Well, like, yeah. Get rid of the mango. Oh, well, we haven't, we haven't got it. We're here. Okay, we, we've well. run out. We sold out. Oh, okay. We sold out. Uh, right, so problem. tortilla dipper. So I'll, I'll give you the sauce. You can sauce it yourself, like depending on how strong you want to go. Sauce yourself. So, sauce it yourself. <laughs> yeah, I've got, to, I've got to watch my language there. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Get spicy. Here we go. So that's that's my level of schmear. Okay. Wow. <laughs> schmear. <laughs> in New York, that is pretty specific to like a bagel and schmear. Oh yes. Yes. Of course. Oh, that's yeah. Schmear's already a thing, isn't yeah. it? New York. <laughs> yeah. Right. There we go. Bagel. Reclaim. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Reclaim the schmear. Reclaim oh, the schmear. Right. Here we go. Woo! Three, two, one. Bottoms up. Mm. Can't get enough of that sauce. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, that's really good. amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So if they are gonna give this a uh, thing. Out of ten. Out of ten. I'm terrible ratings. You love I'll ratings. It, I'll give it a, a solid nine. Solid nine. So it's not too hot, which is not good. Not too yeah, hot. It's really good. It's got a little kick. It's got a nice kick. Yeah. I feel like a real hot sauce is a ten. You gotta get kicked in your ass. Yeah. That's a real hot sauce. We're like. Yeah. No, we had that, but. Um, I never knew that though. No, no. no. I think I'd give it a hiccup. Um, Rosie's got the hiccups from oh. the hot sauce. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'd give it a nine too because it's a really it's good flavor. flavor. Right, it's cool. Flavor. There's a little heat, but you don't lose the flavor. Cool. The point is, it's just nines. Yeah. yeah. Nine. Yeah. Nines. Nine. Nines from thick. Tell you what, guys, you're doing well. <laughs> okay. Well, all that remains to say, thank you so much for being thank on Food and Art UK. Thank you for having us. Uh, thank excited. you for being in the UK, and thanks for rocking our world. Thanks. Yeah. We'll see you soon. See you soon. Cheers. And join us next week for more UK festival action from you guys here at Food Night UK. You don't want to miss it. Keep it locked.